Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome to another Grass River micro class. I'm hanging out near Finch Creek today. Um, so today I thought we'd talk about cardinals and specifically why male cardinals are red. I feel like cardinals are a little bit of a symbol of the holidays, so I thought it'd be a nice uh, seasonal topic for this time of year. So we'll talk about um, physiologically what makes cardinals red and then we'll also talk about the ultimate purpose of it. Why evolutionarily is it advantageous for cardinals to be red? So red is really interesting in the bird world because red, birds cannot manufacture their own red pigmentation. They have to get it through food that they eat. So anytime you see a bird that's red, whether it's a male cardinal or a scarlet tanager or a house finch or even a scarlet macaw, those birds have all sourced that pigment from their environment through their diet. So the pigments that they are sourcing are a class of pigments called carotenoids that are actually yellow to orange in color. One carotenoid you might be familiar with is beta carotene, which is um, why orange carrots are brilliantly orange. It gives them their color. Um, so they source the, these carotenoids and then they actually have to convert them into a red pigment because the carotenoids themselves are yellow to orange. So in order to get red, they have to perform these oxidation reactions in their body um, with an enzyme called ketolase and get this red pigment. Um, and so the level of carotenoids in the bird's body at the time when it is growing new feathers, so during the molt, um, that's what it's called when birds shed their feathers and then grow new ones for cardinals. This happens once a year at the end of the breeding season. Um, the level of carotenoids in their body at that time determines how bright the red feathers will be. At this point you might be wondering why female cardinals aren't bright red like the males and more of a tan color. It's not because they don't take in carotenoids in their diet, but it's because the genes that regulate that pigment conversion um, they, those genes are regulated differently, um, almost turned off uh, in a way that uh, the females stay tan colored or more buff um, in order to be better camouflaged, which is more advantageous for them. Um, so let's talk about this whole uh, issue of being bright red in terms of why this is advantageous for a male cardinal. We sort of talked about this physiology behind it. Now let's talk about evolutionarily, why is that advantageous? Um, and so we've known for a long time that this bright red color is correlated with um, measures of male quality or male fitness. So over the years, studies have demonstrated, particularly in northern cardinals and in house finches, um, that males that are brighter red uh, tend to have higher quality territories. They tend to have higher functioning immune systems, um, better cognition, better predator avoidance, um, higher rates of winter survival. And it's not just that the males tend to be higher quality, it's that females um, seem to notice uh, that brighter red males may, may be in some way higher quality. Um, males that are brighter red uh, tend to produce more offspring and they tend to be more attractive to females. Um, and so we've, there's sort of been this missing link for a long time of like, okay, we understand why these birds are red from a physiological perspective. And we understand that the redness somehow garners them some benefits um, to their fitness. But why? What are the females keying in on? What do the females know? How is bright red signaling that this male is more fit? And just recently, in the past three years, scientists have started to unlock that mystery. So this study that was published in 2019 found that that conversion of red pigment that we've been talking about, um, that happens, that occurs in the mitochondria. Um, previously, we didn't know exactly where in the body or where in the cell that conversion occurred. Um, so they found that it's in the mitochondria, and if you know anything about biology, you know that this mitochondria is the energy powerhouse of the cell. That is where uh, the food that you eat um, is broken down uh, into energy that your body can use through the process called cellular respiration. Um, and so the scientists not only found that the mitochondria is a spot that happens, but they also found that the brighter red birds um, had more efficient mitochondria. Um, this was specifically looking at liver mitochondria. And so the thought goes that if these brighter red birds are more efficient at um, converting this pigment, 
because it happens in the mitochondria, those birds are also probably more efficient at breaking down food, right? Their mitochondria are probably just more efficient on the whole. And if you're more efficient at breaking down food, that means that if you consume the same amount of food that another bird does, you might be able to eke out more energy from it, which would help you in things like surviving winter um, or avoiding predators. And it seems that females have learned, um, or it's probably instinctual, um, but that this bright red color has um, evolved as a signal of male quality. Um, so really cool. I love um, learning about scientific discoveries that have like just happened, you know, after decades of sort of missing this, missing the link between things that we know. So with that, happy holidays, everybody. Hopefully you see a cardinal in your yard or at your feeder um, and you're able to sort of link it to this video and realize that, hey, if that bird's really bright red, that's probably got some really efficient mitochondria. All right. I'll see you guys in the new year. Thanks. Bye.